Hey everyone. I've known one of the guests on this episode for a long time. J.D. Ormond and I went to elementary school together, and I've had the pleasure of watching his musical projects over the years through bands like Ultra Mega, through uh, collaborative projects like the Manitou Bandits, and now through J.D. and the Sunshine Band, which is probably his most interesting group to date. The band is a creative collaboration between musicians and street-involved people looking to create the chorus for the exotic streets of downtown Winnipeg, and the community group is about to head out on its first ever tour. I talked to JD and three of the band members about that and a lot more. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by our friends at the Park Theatre. Please visit myparktheatre.com to check out all the great shows they have coming up. Thank you to everyone who supports my dad's show. If you'd like to support Witch Police Radio, go to patreon.com slash witchpolice today. You're listening to Garbage Show, one of the first podcast network. Welcome to Witch Police Radio. I'm in a van, uh, not down by the river, but uh, in the parking lot. <laughs> and I'm here with someone who has been on the show a few times. Um, he was one of our first guests ever on the podcast back in 2013, I want to say. And, you know, he's been uh, on a few times as well for other projects. But uh, maybe we'll start with you then, just because you're a known quantity, right? Sure. Um, so J.D. Ormond uh, has been on the show talking about Ultra Mega, about the Manitou Bandits. And we're here today with some members of his band to talk about uh, J.D. and the Sunshine Band. Yeah, different bandits, different crew. The Sunshine Band are live in effect right now. <laughs> so yeah. just, I guess, so we can kind of put a name to the voice, if, if all of you want to just go around and uh, introduce yourselves and what you do in the band, and we can sort of go from there. So we'll start in the front here. Okay, my name is Gilbert, Gilbert Spence, S-P-E-N-C-E, -E, and I'm the percussionist for JD and the Sunshine Band. Okay, my name is Kirby Boucher. I'm a shiner, and I like backup vocal for the... Or JD and Adrian. Yes, hi, my name is Raymond Williams, and I'm a shaker too, and I'm a backup singer. <laughs> and I haven't fun, been doing it for about three years now. Cool. And how many people are actually in the band? Because I, I mean, every time I, I've, I've seen you live and I've seen, <laughs> I've seen photos and stuff, it seems like it kind of grows and uh, shrinks depending on the show. Is that is there sort of a revolving lineup, or is it pretty solid? Well, for now, I think it's pretty solid right now. Yeah. Okay. For what we have, it's pretty solid. And so, it was big at, at one time. We had about 10. But now we're down to about 8, 7. Okay. So, it's pretty okay. well solid now. Yeah. yeah. Depending on who can make it, we're yeah. like... I'd say uh, we... Our band, let's see. Like, when we played on at Portage in Maine, we were about 7 of us. But I think we can... Our, our band can grow up to about... I think 12. Okay, okay. Just 12. depending on need, I guess, for the show? Or? No, just depending on who's available to play. Yeah. Um, sometimes we play slightly smaller venues, and it's like, well, can't really have 12 people on stage. But, you know, yeah. we've definitely had 12, 12 to just, 15. Uh, yeah, that's enjoy, when we first started off. the beat of the band. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. And the, and the atmosphere, the audience. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I think that maybe we should uh, get some context, too, for what the background of this band is, because I know it's somewhat of an unconventional band. I mean, you've been in bands a lot mm -hmm. over the years, and this is, I mean, first of all, bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it's got an interesting backstory, too, right? So Sure, yeah. We uh, we formed about five years ago out of uh, Sunshine House Drop-In Center in on Logan and Sherbrooke, and we kind of just... We were doing a project that was basically connecting people with, like... A wide array of um, recreational activities okay so we did like small building repair and bike repair and we did an art program and we did mechanics yeah we did a, a vehicle mechanics program and then we decided to try music um, so uh, me being a songwriter just kind of spearheaded it I guess and I brought in a couple of couple of people such as Gilbert's brother Adrian and my friend Vince and we kind of collectively just oh we just started jamming basically in in the drop-in and um, you know over the nine months that we've gotten to know one another there's a lot of stories that were shared a lot of jokes a lot of yeah. you know this and that 
and we just took a lot of these little parts and we put them into the songs that we that we wrote that we, we kind of like and uh yeah so we just continued to kind of like take people's stories and their jokes and slang and whatever and sprinkle it into yeah. our little simple country songs yeah, and, and that's ever, everybody fit in yeah, yeah that's good. well that's one thing i noticed from listening to the records too is it does seem like very storytelling first person kind of you know yeah that's that's cool had any of you played music before this or i did yeah i used to be uh, in uh when i was in high school i was uh, when uh, i used to play Saturday support with a uh, with a uh, like a uh, orchestra oh cool well saxophone i was in a band before cool and i play my oh, my dad taught me how to play violin which i played for a number of years but i dropped okay because mm -hmm. i started hanging around i was in the north end of winnipeg and i kind of dropped everything right I, but now now the, you're back doing it again now yeah. the music is back yeah, yeah. It came back. So you called them uh, kind of little country songs, you know, earlier. Uh, I mean, is, is country sort of a genre that everyone in the group can agree on, or is that just how it ended up? Or are you all country fans? Well, well, me, I'm also I'm slowly getting into country now okay. because of my brother and I. We, I started playing drums back when he was in a band back in the late seventies, early eighties, oh, well, with the band Jesse out of Rosper Coast. And I was there a roadie for a while, and that's where I learned how to play my drums. And I didn't figure it'd go this far, but it, now I'm happy where I'm at now. Cool. So I'm pretty well musically inclined behind the drums. JD's brother was shocked that I was, how <laughs> that he knew that I played. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Country music is a is a good it's a good um, kind of it's a bit of the backbone of the band because it's. I would say like more it's country folk sure like, yeah. I sure. would say it's not super traditional country although half of well the, the other singer who's not here right now sings he sings a lot of like you know kind of classic country like okay. tear in my beer kind of country I'd say you know, that kind of sad sad barroom yeah yeah drunken country which is a uh, really fun to play I imagine it is yeah um, <laughs> and then we take we take some of the some of the you know just simple uh, you know arrangements of country music, you know two chord, three chord songs, yeah. and uh, put some weird little stories in there, and um, okay. that's kind of it's easy music to play, and everybody you know people can kind of relate to it, and they it's not a, it's not over anyone's head, you know like right. we, all, we all get the music, it's all simple, the the rhythm is there, and everyone can follow along, and um, okay. it's just easier that way than doing something complicated. We're not a you know, the prog rock band or something. We're not, yeah. rock, yeah. we're not a chamber orchestra, right? You know, yeah. uh, well, and I guess it gives the opportunity for a lot more people to be involved, right? Like, yeah, just like, the, the totally. We, we, like, we, yeah, go ahead. Like all of us, like Gilbert, and Kirby, me, and Ray, like we all grew up in a, like in a, like in a negative atmosphere. With a, but now everybody sees us now, and they. they real proud of us cool. that we made it this far. Yeah. Politician 
chairman of the board till alcohol and prohibition threw me off my The days of old we flew right past in a blinking of an Going even farther now, right? I mean, the band's going on tour. Yeah, we're going yeah. on your Which first is, tour. I am assuming, is this the tour van? I'm assuming yeah, we're yeah, in the you're tour in van. It. Yeah. You're in it. You're in it. Right on. So, when when's that happening? Uh, so, we're leaving on the 6th of November. And we're coming back on the 11th. Okay. It's just, it's a short, it's a sh- it's shorter than we initially planned. Oh, you got the itinerary uh, again. Yeah. We were initially planning, like, we booked, we booked some shows out in BC, Vancouver Island. But nice. damn, it was it was far. It was going to be a, that would have been a, a two week a two week trip, which yeah. was um, I, I think we can we can work up to that. But for our first tour, I don't think we need to do a two week trip. <laughs> yeah, that's and a we tough were all, one. Yeah, yeah. We were all kind of relieved when uh, it was like, okay, we're not doing that, and everyone was like, <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah. So I, I was, um, you know, while it would have been amazing to go out to Vancouver Island, you know, see the ocean, take the yeah, ferry, that'd be cool, yeah. Uh, drive through the mountains, like all that stuff. Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll test. We'll test our uh, our metal, right. as they say, right. on this on this five day little journey through the prairies. I mean, we're we're still going to Edmonton and Calgary. And yeah, that's big we'll, cities. Are we'll like, get yeah. we'll get to see the mountains in Calgary, which is awesome. Yeah, and um, yeah, but it's it, it's more it makes more sense. It's it's a five day trip as opposed to okay. a fourteen day trip. I think I think everybody can manage that. Yeah, yeah. Well, based based on the type of venues you play, which it seems to be kind of all over the place. I mean, yeah, you played yeah. Portage Maine, like you said, uh, yeah, yeah. and you seem to be playing like every time I see a show listing, it's like, oh, that's a cool idea for a show. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you think you're going to be received uh, on tour? Like, do you think that just because I think you're hard to pin down, like you said, you're not traditionally a country band, mm-hmm. and I mean, so w- what kind of reaction do you think you're going to have when you uh, head out? Do you have any idea of like sort of what the audience is for for you out here? Well, we are playing at a few drop-in centers. Okay. Um, I, and I think that they understand what our kind of concept is. Sure, we're, yeah. we're, we're a community band. They support. These are places that also support community. Um, uh, they will probably have a good time. They will enjoy our vibes, which are, you know, c- 
it can be pretty funny. Yeah. And, you know, everybody can kind of clap, sing along, clap along, and and laugh at our lyrics and enjoy our Johnny Cash songs and our Merle Haggard yeah, tunes. Yeah, so sure. it's, yeah. Yeah. it's like, you know, I, I feel like, I feel like people in Calgary who are street involved or whatever are yeah. probably experiencing the same kind of thing that people in Winnipeg are, you know, so it's not... Right, so they can definitely relate to where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're not going to play for, you know, ultra-rich, you know, Saudi Arabian people. <laughs> you know, these yeah. are like Canadian, these are Canadian people who live in Canadian cities. And, yeah, and prairie cities too, it's, right? It's, so, yeah, yeah. it's a similar perspective, so... Sure. Um, so, yeah... I, yeah, so I, I think we'll be well received, and people are going to dig us, and we'll hopefully get to share our music and give away some CDs, and you know, cool. Bring some, bring some Winnipeg, some Winnipeg vibe out to out to Edmonton and Calgary. Yeah, yeah. Let them we hear us out there. School too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we played like. Well, I guess you're family friendly, right? I mean, it's fun for, for kids, kids too. Kids yeah. come. Yeah. We we played like yeah. we community everything from like a community bake sale we played sherbrooke we played in this in the bleachers at sherbrooke pool oh cool right? yeah, just, awesome. just yeah. singing to the swimmers um, like no instruments just singing or did you uh, know we, we had these acoustic had. instruments that we kind of made oh cool and so yeah just just out of out of whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> out, of whatever. <laughs> out of anything we can use we like yeah, to use yeah. recycling yeah, we made it into you know. music. yeah um and then we've played like you know we played clubs and festivals and we kind of we're, we're down for it all yeah. Um, yeah it's it's great like i think like given that we are a kind of a community-minded band that allows us to play places that regular bands just wouldn't think of playing or wouldn't want to play right like i'm i'm very much down to just set up in a parking lot somewhere or on the street corner or in yeah. a park and just and just rock out like and just see who just, happens to listen yeah, to exactly because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's um it's <coughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's nice, it's a good vibe, it's nice, yeah. it's nice for people to, you know, if, if we could, I would play every day just on the street corner, I think that's like, yeah. we'll, we'll maybe, we'll maybe evolve or devolve to that state, to that state <laughs> of things, you know, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure whether, whether it's a, it would be a, yeah, um, but yeah, playing all the time, it's fun, yeah. it's great, it's, uh, gives everyone a boost of, um, uh, it's good, Good feelings. Yeah, our first, loves us now. Our first CD that we made out back in 2013, we hit all the festivals in Manitoba here. Oh, there's so many too, right? There's so many yeah. festivals. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we hit all the festivals mm -hmm. as much as we could, and it was all like success. <clears throat> so hopefully by next year we'll be called back mm -hmm. to some of them. Yeah. 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 So. Especially the forest, we've been there uh, three years in a row. Oh yeah. As, a, as are you well received there? People like it. Oh yeah. yeah. Canada Day. Canada Day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Canada yeah, yeah. Day. We didn't play this year though. No. Oh. Do you um, like of the rest of you, what do you, what are your thoughts on going on tour? Are you guys excited for it? Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to just um, to getting out of Winnipeg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to be on the road, yeah. just to. Yeah. Just to, um, I want to uh, like all of us. Why we want to meet the other like people on uh, in other cities with the same. Like a similar background yeah, as, yeah. Us, as us, and so they can, so they can do their own thing with that instead of being like homeless. Right, to give them a bit of hope that you can, yeah. you can do something like this. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys think that that might be something that happens as a result of the tour? That other cities you stop in will see this and think, hey, we can do this too, and you might get more Sunshine Bands. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Well, I, if we if we finish in one show and then go to our next show, then. Hopefully things will be uh, come back to her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like we maybe hopefully we'll after these shows maybe hopefully we'll be be called back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that'd be most excellent. We're gonna uh, along the way we're gonna record like I'm bringing a, you know a recording device that yeah. I can interview folks similar to like this. Oh, this cool! Thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, come on in the van and we'll have a chat. So. You know we're gonna get a lot of sound bites from people across in places we're playing, cool. and we're gonna take those little sound bites and we're gonna, you know, add them to our music. And so we're gonna do a bit of a, I, I would say it's a bit of a tour album concept okay. album okay. that we're gonna That's make. That's cool. Out yeah, of yeah. It. So yeah. I think we can, we, the the plan is to return to those places and and share the music that people have will will have contributed to. Oh, so they can hear themselves on the exactly. Record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and in that way, I think that's a 
to me, it's it's kind of like a it's an easy way to connect with folks. It's I'm, yeah. I'm like happy that because it was at first I was like, oh, we could try and book clubs and just do it that way. But um, it seemed like it was a lot easier um, just reaching out to community organizations and being like, can we play at your drop in center? Yeah. Um, people were a lot more responsive and a lot more. And certainly we're going to play for more people than we would if we were trying to book a club show and having people pay at the door or whatever. Yeah. We're, we're going to be playing for, you know, potentially a, a lot of people who don't who don't normally get a, a concert. You sure, know, cause yeah. Because they, they either can't afford it or it's just not a part of their... Yeah. Part, part of their day-to-day. So it's really nice to just... You know, it's nice to play for people in places where, kind of where they're at. Yeah. Well, on the club thing, if you'd done clubs, it would have been just the music fan audience, really, right? Exactly. This kind of opens it up to, to everyone. To, yeah. To, yeah, the community, the kids, you know, old folks, and uh, yeah, people, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, how many, how many albums do you have out now? Is it three or two? Two. Okay. Yeah. And the the, the third one is what's going to be happening. The third one is in the works. We were just listening to some some of our, um, I guess, instrumental tracks off it. I told them that it was it was our music. They, Gilbert didn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds too good or what? Uh, I don't know. He's like, maybe this is what we'd yet. sound like in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, we, so we, kind of like in, pre- in preparation for these interviews, we've kind of been, we've, we did a little, a little bit of tracking a, a bunch of months ago and um, pretty open. We just kind of upstairs at the Sunshine House yep. added a bunch of instruments and kind of like made soundscapey kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, and we're just gonna put the audio in, interviews and audio over top of it, and kind of cut and splice and make these weird sound collage cool. kind of kind of things. Yeah. Um, so it's not gonna be there. There are a couple song songs on it, or there will be, but it's it's gonna be a lot different than than what we've done. Right, in which the is past, like the simple country songs. Which is the simple yeah. country songs. Yeah. This yeah. is this is more. Be more guess, avant-garde here. Right? Avant-garde, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Sunshine Man is becoming <laughs> avant-garde, <laughs> whether you guys like that or not. Um, yeah, so we're still working on. We'll be working towards a concept on how to perform these songs because yeah. because it's gonna be it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be harder to to sing. <laughs> I don't. Kirby's gesturing. I'm not something. sure what the gesture. I'm not sure what that means either. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, it's um, this is. Yeah, all of a sudden we have to think about the concepts of yeah. things, and uh, it's, I, I would say that's growth. That's a that's that's a, a growth in a band. So it's, well, maybe it's that's cool. a, another question here too, though. I mean, how, how have you seen the band grow over the time since you started? Just in terms of, uh, of what you sound like and how comfortable everyone is sort of with the instruments and in that. Mm-hmm. I, I'd say, well, maybe Gilbert can answer what, what, what we think about the evolution of the band, how we sound, how we sounded before versus how Kip we sound now. Compared to how you sound now while you're going to... Well, yeah. well yeah. it sounds a little bit more, uh, from what we sounded from before, it's a little bit more upbeat to what okay. we sound like. And uh, I got a lot of feedback on a lot of the concerts that we've been through and they were pretty well pretty well good feedback from all my all our audience all our fans mm-hmm. and so I got a lot of feedback on that from through them and they're all proud of us and they yeah. keep up the good work and don't do anything wrong just keep up the good work I think uh, for myself like the first album was very much I, I would say it was like uh like kids music for adults okay okay um very simple yeah. eight by numbers yeah. kind of melodies yeah and simple uh, s- structure and i guess slowly we've kind of introduced you know a little more depth a little more to- topically like some different topics and some more um you know songs that aren't you know necessarily funny right um you know, on, on our second album, so it's a little more experimental. Okay. Um, not fully avant-garde yet, but <laughs> not fully avant-garde. <laughs> You're getting there, yeah. But uh, it's a yeah, it's a slow descent into the sun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so this new one, um, yeah, I don't know. Eventually, uh, we're gonna put out an album called "The Dark Side of the Sun." Okay. Which is going to be fully trip, fully trippy. Yeah, psychedelic. Yeah, yeah fully psychedelic, <laughs> because you know we're all pretty psychedelic folks yeah. on these parts, so. Everybody understands the vibe, yeah, and can, yeah. and can lock into it. It's it's kind of like a, it's something that we would get to through jamming. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah, so we've been kind of rehearsing twi- twice a week now. Okay. We, we had been on, in the lead up to our um, fundraiser show that we did at the Goodwill. We were doing t- two jams a week, which is really good because the more you practice, kind of the easier the shows will be. Sure, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, you just go through the, you, you, you know, you've done all the work and you've done all the, the preparation. So, like, the shows generally are, are, I think the shows are better now. Because everybody's uh, focused. Uh, Focused on the beat, yeah, uh, yeah. and and practicing the rhythm and, yeah. and kind of like I, I'd say we're we're sharper now than we were when we okay. started Not for like sure. The first, the first CD, our yeah. first CD. We played. A, <laughs> I mean, we played. I don't know how many shows, but a, but a, a lot of shows. Yeah. you know, we yeah. and um, we've done everything from three piece shows of just me and Gilbert and Adrian to like full fifteen person, you know, uh, shows, and it's just like. Yeah, acoustic and electric, and I think it's all helped to like to to, to sharpen our collective uh, skill yeah. and our and our and our sound and stuff like that. So it's uh, yeah. Last night I broke the seal on a Jim Beam decanter that looked like Elvis. I spoke to label of a plain stone jelly bean jar. I cleared a soft place on that one little table that you left us and pulled me a big, big old piece of floor. I tore the head off Elvis, built bread up to his pelvis. Yabba dabba do, the king is gone, and so are you. Round about ten, we all got to talking about Graceland, bedrock, and such. The conversation finally turned to a man. Fred said he didn't get around too much. And Alba said, find them young. Fred said, old passion girls are fun. Dabba dabba do, the king is gone and so are you. You wouldn't be coming home no more This time I know you won't forgive me Like all of the other times before And I broke Elvis's nose Pouring the last drop from his toes Dabba dabba do, the king is gone and so are you. Dabba dabba do, the king is gone and so are you. Last night I broke the seal on a Jim Beam decanter a little like Elvis. I soak the label of a Blintstone Jelly Bean Yes. <laughs> yes, we're good. We're damn good, all right? Yeah. <laughs> just looking forward to it. We're just looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah. I'll, give my, I'll give myself a hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, good, good. Do you think that um, the sound, like the sound that you have as a band, do you think it, it captures what you feel Winnipeg is like? I mean, do you, do you feel like because uh, listening to it, I feel it sounds very Winnipeg. I don't know if it's just the voices or like the the 
the country thing, which has always been popular around here. But it definitely sounds very local, I guess, to yeah, me. Like, yeah. Do you guys feel a Winnipeg vibe off of what you're doing? Do you feel like this is kind of the sound of Winnipeg interpreted through your instruments? Pretty uh, well, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah, not, pretty well, not eh? only us, but other people around that we grew up with on the, in Winnipeg, in, yeah. in the north end, the yeah. west end. I'd say it's it's a, it's 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 a it's like it's like we're definitely pulling from our collective experience. Yeah, here. right, right. So we're trying not to be we're trying to make stuff that every pe- we all relate to. So you know, I yeah. guess we have this collective Winnipeg experience, whether we like it or not. We're yeah, kind of like there, we're right? gonna we're gonna yeah. sound we're gonna sound Winnipeg Winnipeg ish. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's kind of that's what we know. Yeah. Well, I guess what I was getting at is you, you sound almost like, um, I don't know what the word is, but unselfconsciously Winnipeg, right? Where a lot of bands will, they're from Winnipeg, they have those Winnipeg experiences, but they, they kind of try to hide them or sound like they're from somewhere else. But you guys are just straight up there. Mm. This is Winnipeg. <laughs> you know, this is who we are. This is Winnipeg. Like it's, it's very unpretentious, which is one of the best things about it. Like yeah. It's very straight and honest. The, um, one of the guys who works at uh, Music Trader told me that a customer came in and asked them, they were from out of town, and asked him like, like, what should I hear from Winnipeg? Yeah. He's like this album, and he handed them our album, which is pretty cool. That is cool. He's like yeah. this is this is a taste of Winnipeg right here. So that's I, I think that's good. Yeah, I don't know. There's a, I'm I'm happy to be to be representing for yeah. the, for our Winnipeg sound, I guess. Yeah. Well, and I always like music that does seem like it's local to somewhere even if I'm not from there if you can tell that this is their you know they're making references to things that are personal to them or mm-hmm. locations that are you know, obviously in their town but you don't have to know you don't have to have been there to appreciate the kind of you feel the city love coming through yeah or hate depending on what song right but yeah yeah we're not going to be haters we can't yeah. be haters yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just <laughs> just so well, the good and the bad of Winnipeg right like yeah. the, Winnipeg's got its ups and downs sure and yeah, no, yeah. no absolutely cooperation um, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's about having a good balance, striking a good balance of, of those elements, and yeah. not, yeah, not being, not being too crazy one way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. we're, just, we're just gonna do like our album says, uh, soak it up. Yeah, we're yeah. soaking yeah. it up. Yeah. Soak up those yeah. rays. Yeah, we're yeah. soaking up the rays. It's a great album title too. Yeah. yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah. Well, this is Ray. We got Ray here, you know. Right. We're soaking. <laughs> soaking. Ray's soaking. Back, yeah. Soaking in the back. Did uh, when you, when you started this band? Did you ever think that it would get to the point where you're touring, or was no, it just sort of no. this is what we're doing for today no. and we'll see how it goes? Sort pretty, of thing? pretty much. We I never thought this would go this far. Yeah, but we everybody's s- happy for us. Yeah, well, for sure. Yeah, the community. Yeah, I think like we didn't really know what would happen after our first album release show, which was our first show. Okay. Um. Yeah, we we hadn't played before we released our album so we could have stopped then we could have been like hey wasn't that fun yeah we did, we, help, we, we did that yeah. but then it was like as soon as we finished basically as soon as we got off stage like we were asked by like 10 people to, to play to keep playing so oh, it was cool. like oh yeah i guess we should keep playing and then it's just it just kind of has kept going in that way yeah um so we'll, you know we'll take breaks where we won't where we won't play a gig for a few months um but then the shows always seem to come to pop back up, you know. Community organizations want yeah. entertainment at their whatever, a their picnic or whatever, their yeah. picnics yeah. and their you know year end parties and their block parties our and so. Our first um, our first uh, YouTube video mm-hmm. uh, Saturday night and we started off in the basement at Sunshine House. Yeah. And yeah. everybody yeah. Liked making it. videos yeah, yeah, is yeah. a good time. Like you just put one out recently, right? A video like it's a new. Mm. Oh, was that, I don't know, was yeah. video or was a promo for the show? Oh, it was maybe. promo. It yeah. was promo for our tour. Yeah, the, the, the slow mo, uh, the slow mo promo. Yeah. yeah, so like those little things are, they're really fun to do, and I think they're kind of like the videos and you know, yeah, it just keeps us together. It keeps us kind of like working together, and um, it brings in the community and it, and it's, yeah. I think people like to do that. Yeah, for sure. So for sure. It's, uh, but no, I, I I didn't really think we would be here sitting in a parking lot at the C- <laughs> yeah. being interviewed by a CJOB. Uh, well, not on the not know, on the clock though, but yeah, an off the clock <laughs> CJOB. Uh, yeah, reporter. Yeah. yeah. 
So this is, this is sweet, but I mean, this is just exactly what we kind of want to do because it's, it's just getting around and meeting people and having a chat. And I think it's good in, in terms of like a, you know, I guess, uh, it just fills up the day a little bit yeah. for, for, for people. For sure. It, yeah. it gives some, it gives some structure to their day. And, and it's a creative well, outlet too, right? And it's a creative yeah. outlet. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's a, in a, in a harm reduction kind of like way. It's, uh. You know, it's just something that we 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 do for that as well. Okay. You know what I felt through the years when we first got this band, we gave people uh, strength and hope. Okay. Not to give up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Like for the band members as well as the, yes. as the listeners. Yeah. yeah. And the fa- the, our families. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess this is just the next step of that too, the going on tour thing, right? It's another level of uh, yeah success, really, with the band. Like the, yeah. yeah, I think we're strong enough. As a, as a unit to kind of support one another in a, over these five days to like, you know, that, I don't know, we're going to, we're, we're going to see, yeah. um, but I, but I think we're going to be able to pull it off and I think it's going to be great for, for everybody to be involved in something that's like, yeah, like this, yeah. you know. Well, I imagine after all these years of doing the band, you probably all become pretty good friends too, right? So mm-hmm. oh, yeah. absolutely. That, that helps absolutely. for a long trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Closer. And we, closer. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we, we're not afraid to kick one another's asses if someone steps out of line, <laughs> yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Oh, that's that how it goes. Like you. Yeah. 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 I step out of line, get my ass kicked. Each other's hair. Yeah. yeah. Is that a real thing? Because yeah. it was windy like, yesterday and Gilbert was lighting a smoke. And his hair got in the way. That's a topic for a song right there. Yeah, that's good, song <laughs> that's right there exactly sure. yeah, yeah, a yeah. song topic. That's what we like to... That's Is that how like they come to up too? Like someone will just tell a funny story and yeah. then you think of it as like... In a lot of ways, yeah. People will just, just share stories of, and some of them are just really hilarious. And some of them could only happen here with with, sure. with this crew. And like, so it's... it's we, we try and like focus on the things that make, make it unique, I yeah. guess. You know, yeah. And yeah. Yeah, that's where our song comes from, our, our, our headlines. Mm-hmm. That's our headlines. We do headlines, and our stories come into that song, Headlines. Cool. Yeah, yeah and it's an open format, headlines. You can just say whatever you want to say. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah? And it's like, we recorded a version for our, on our last album. Um, but the headlines change depending on the what day. What kind of stories kind of day, that, yeah. Okay. Kind of stories okay. are, are up, and we... You know, we're playing different shows, so we write different headlines, and often we start our set with the. They're kind of like it's kind of like reading the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the what, local news or the daily news. Yeah, this yeah. is what's going on, and it's. Uh, yeah. yeah man. That's awesome. So, if if someone is hearing about the band for the first time on this show, what's the best thing for them to do if they want to find out more, or he- hear some music, or uh, things like that? Well, come to our show. Yeah, that's. If, <laughs> if you want to hear, get a taste of what we're like, you probably should see us live. Yeah. Um, but then buy an album and we'll, you know, it'll be in your car and you'll enjoy it. So where can they get the albums? The shows, I guess, is the main place, right? Yeah, you can, you can buy them usually off us at the, at, at, at the show. I don't know if they're available. Maybe Music Trader might have some. I, I, I suppose I should do a, a re-up, bring some more CDs around and to, to places that can sell them. But right. you can also, got a lot of videos online, just look up JD and the Sunshine Band. Type in JD and the Sunshine Band into your uh, web, into your web, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you'll be delighted for hours. Cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then the uh, you're working on the new one, so that'll be out. When do you think, like next year? Or? Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh, well, that might be. Let's see who this is. Might be Adrian. Do a phone call on there. Hello. Hey, you're up. Yeah, are you up? <laughs> yeah. I just came from Sunshine. There's nobody there. That's a... Well, you're late for the interview, buddy. <laughs> We're already here. Oh, yeah. We're already here. Say hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Where's everybody? I'm sitting next to Gil. We got we got the interviewer Sam sitting next to Kirby and Ray, and we're just in the van at uh, at Polo Park. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Sunshine at uh, twelve o'clock. Nobody was around, so. No, no, I, I told people at 11, between 11 yeah. and 11.30. Yeah. Oh, you, I don't know. No. <laughs> yeah, well, here we are. Say, say, to, what, hey, say hello to, to, say hello to uh, the, the, all of our, all of our fans. 
Hello, you bunch of hello kids. <laughs> Everybody sober? <laughs> At this point, yeah. Uh, what are you guys doing? Well, we're doing this interview, and I picked up the phone. So we're actually just... We're in an interview right now, and I'm talking oh. to you. Oh, radio. Just tell everybody out there in Radio Land that uh, I couldn't make it, and I'm sorry I couldn't make it there. All right, Adrian. Well, I'll call you uh, when we're done. Okay, well, I'm at Salome's call. All right, call me in about an hour. Okay, then. Okay. I see you. Okay, bye. That actually might be a good way to end the interview. <laughs> we got him in there. That's awesome. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so people should definitely check you out on tour. Uh, what are the cities you're going to again? Uh, Regina. Well, we have not. We've not. Oh, you got the paper in, here, right? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't locked in a gig in Regina. But, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna read this. Uh, sure, yeah. So I should have. Uh, okay, so you've got November sixth, going to Regina. You don't have a show yet. Uh, November seventh, Edmonton at the Aviary. Um, yeah, you know, you can read, you know what these places are better than I do. So November eighth, Calgary, Alberta, at a place called Calgary Drop In. November 9th, Saskatoon at a place called the Lighthouse Supported Living. November 10th, Langenberg, Saskatchewan, at a place called the Flavor Country Ranch. It's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then November 11th, back in Winnipeg. That's a Sunday. So um, have a meal prepared for us, Winnipeg, for when we get back, because we're going to be damn hungry. Well, I'm tired of this dirty old city. And I'm tired of too much work. Never in a play And I'm tired of these dirty old sidewalks I think I'll walk off my steady job today Turn me loose, set me free Somewhere in Be free.
free Big city turn me loose and set me free Big 